Watch really closely, guys. Her hands like this, and then it flips backwards to pick up the drink. Can you believe that? I'm gonna show you some really unique people. This is called dermatographism. Dermatographist. Dermatographist. Ism. I can't say it. Basically, it lets you write on yourself. You give yourself a rash when you touch yourself. Does that mean you're allergic to yourself? I don't know, but this would be sick for cheating on tests with. Am I right or am I right? It's kind of cool. As long as they're not uncomfortable, right? This guy can look up and down at the exact same time like a chameleon. This is also perfect for cheating on tests or, you know, sneaking a peek at your girlfriend's texts when she's on her phone. This is called mirror hand syndrome. They can hold their own hand with one hand. That's so cute. Life is crazy. The world is crazy. I love how we're all special and unique in our own ways. I can do this. <laughs> wait till you see the... Wait a minute. Oh, I'm missing a... Wait, wait. One, two, three, four, five. They have six fingers. I'm missing a finger. I was like, I can do this. I can't do this. Wow. The more you know. Whoa, cool. Can he hear twice as well? His ear looks like a heart. This is awesome. It almost looks like they like intentionally did that. But then I found a picture of somebody else who has it. So I think it's just a thing. This girl has moles all over her body. She's so special, so beautiful. I can't, oh, I love her. Galactic eyes, best of both worlds. I've seen hazel eyes before, but this is on another level. Oh, these are so beautiful. Okay, I'm losing myself in her eyes. This boy was born with a tail. We all have tails as embryos in the womb, but it slowly starts shrinking and disappears for most people, except for this boy. I wonder if he can move it. Like, does it wiggle when he's excited? You can actually like feel your tailbone. It's like in your back. Right? I don't know where it is, but it's somewhere. <laughs> Human horns are a fascinating phenomenon. <laughs> human horns are something that have only ever happened a few rare times in human history. Doctors are still unsure of the reason why, but they, they just sometimes like randomly start growing. I call this a human unicorn. Unicorn. Very rare, by the way. I think they've only seen it happen a handful of times. So you're, you're fine. I don't want to make promises. If you start growing a horn, like don't sue me, but you're probably fine. <laughs> This person was born with a scar inside their eye. So crazy. Do you think this has affected their vision? I wonder how their pupils dilate. So crazy. This person's hands get a lot more wrinkly than anybody else around them. Did you know that hands actually get wrinkly as a survival instinct so that we can like grip onto things easily when they're wet? Kind of like Spider-Man. I guess this person's survival instincts are stronger than the rest of ours. Weird. His feet look like hands or maybe his hands look like feet. What's happening? Can he snap? Do the peace sign flip someone off? I have questions. I'm confused. This kid has zero nose bridge. There's a lot of people who have like less nose bridge or I have a lot of nose bridge. Right here, I don't. But he has no nose bridge. I feel like this might make glasses shopping difficult. I'm not sure though. Maybe not. Maybe it makes it easier. Who knows? He knows. I don't know. I know nothing. This guy's skin is so stretchy. He can suck it into his mouth. Cool party trick, I guess. Does that mean he's more prone to wrinkles or less prone to wrinkles? Like does his skin sag or is it so stretchy it's always like tight? I'm not sure. I kind of want to see it like when he's not like breathing it in. This is like tentacles under the tongue. It's basically this part. Okay. Right there. Mine is super tiny. Some people have bigger ones and some people have it where it looks like tentacles. Whoa. It's like loose, loose, all loose. Apparently they can even get stuck inside of your teeth. I wonder if you can like move them independently. More importantly, do they move themselves independently. <laughs> That'd be scary. He has elf ears, but I'm pretty sure he did this to himself. I don't think he was born with elf ears. There are procedures where you can get elf ears done. I want proof. Show me a picture of you as a baby and then I'll believe you. This baby was born with the same birthmark in her hair as her mom. Oh, this is so cute. I wonder what the chances of this happening is. Is it partially genetic or just completely random? Smart science people out there, let us know. This girl was born with double colored eyes. Whoa. When you have both eyes that are different colors, that's actually called heterochromia. I knew somebody like that once and it always blew everybody's minds, but this is even more more unique, I think. Well, to me, because I've never seen this in my life. It looks like a lunar eclipse is happening inside her eyeball. Crazy. There are some people who are called super tasters because they have really strong taste receptors. Some even earn money by tasting food. Can you say dream job? Getting paid to eat lots and lots of food? Like, hello. Also, I think she's eating a curly fry. Delicious. Stick your tongue out through your teeth and then 
hold it there. Can you swallow? Mm. For most people, the further you stick it out, the harder it is to swallow. I'm one of those people. I can't do this. I don't even know if you want to. I, mm, it was a situation. This boy was born with cat eye syndrome. It makes his eyes look like actual cat eyes. Whoa. Like he's not wearing contact lenses or anything. These are actually his eyes. It's a super cute look. Like it's kind of really like pretty in a way, you know? But then on the other hand, it also makes me want to pat him on the back of the head because I love cats. Very rarely, people can be born with two sets of iris muscles. Those like little black dots we see through. Unfortunately for these people though, uh, they end up with vision problems because they, they see, see double, double from that eye. eye. Yeah, that doesn't sound great. I feel like if you saw double, you'd, you'd be dizzy all the time. Or maybe that's just what cartoons make me feel like I would feel like. This is harder to tell if you have long hair. But for everybody out there with short hair, did you know that only 8% of people have their hair twisting anti-clockwise? Fun fact, so you should check your head. Get somebody to check your head unless you have long hair like me then you know i don't know how to do it can you guys tell me which way my hair goes can you tell i don't think you can tell some people have this condition when they get cold their toes and fingers turn white like super like this like this isn't that crazy it's kind of like a superpower like mr freeze but your only superpower is knowing that you're cold not creating cold just kind of, you know, I know I'm cold just because I'm cold. I don't need my fingers to turn white to be able to tell. This girl was born with eyelashes that are half white. It's a good thing she didn't have that half eyeball thing as well because there'd be like a lot of things going on in the eye region. Or maybe she does. Her eyes are closed after all. Maybe she's the same girl. <gasps> what kind of fingerprint do you guys have? Okay. I want you guys to write in the comments because I want to see if these percentages add up. I'm going to calculate it. Actually, maybe I will do a poll on the top right hand of the corner. I don't know if this camera is mirrored, but whatever is the top right corner for you guys, there's a poll there for you. Let's do this. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Wait, I have the one on the left, the 65%. I'm part of that group. What are you guys? Yep, all my fingers are that. I don't know, I'm so basic. Ugh, I wanted to be part of the 5%, it's not fair. Tongue twisters, the literal version. Okay, can I do any of this? Apparently only 1% of people can do these moves, so don't feel too bad if you can. Okay. <laughs> I can! Huh? Honestly, guys, if you can, then you're part of the 1%. Let me know if you're a tongue genius. Sound off in the comments. I am clearly not. <sighs> I'm so basic. Is your belly button an innie or an Audi? Turns out only 10% of people are Audis. So if you got one, then congratulations. You are unique. Now, this is an interesting experiment for you guys to try with me. Take your hands, close them, and naturally, which finger goes on top? Mm. Okay, wait, what's the difference between... Uh. Wait, which one am I? Wait, I'm confused now. My right thumb is under my left thumb, which makes me part of the 49%. Oh, I'm only 1% unique. <laughs> ah! Did you know some people are born with double eyelashes? It's just not fair. I'm so basic. Ugh, it makes their eyelashes look so good. Honestly, it's a unique feature that I feel like, I don't know, most girls, at least most of my friends, would be happy to have. I honestly, I spend too much money on fake eyelashes, so like, why wasn't I born with this? Elizabeth Taylor is a famous person who was born with it. She also had violet eyes. Let me show you. Like what? Her eyes are violet. This is so cool. Girl, girl, how? I'm sure you've seen Sherpas in the movies, guiding people through the mountains. Because they work in the mountains all the time, they've actually developed a gene that allows their body to work with a lack of oxygen. So cool. Most people, the higher the climb, the more they struggle for oxygen, but not them. This is evolution right before our eyes. I wonder if the future generations of my line will develop a special trait. Maybe a second stomach for pizza? Delicious. So talent. Lana's special talent. Whoa, she's oh double jointed. God. So cool. I'm actually double jointed too. Like not as much as her, but wait. See, my elbow goes a little bit like this, normal, and then I can like twist it. I can do that. It's not like much, but like, see? Oh, you can see it like there. My elbow is messed up. Sorry, it's my elbow song. I can do it with my knees too, but like, I'm wearing baggy pants, so it's kind of hard to show you guys. My knees are also kind of like flamingo knees. It's special. Good times. Hey guys, I'm unique. I found a way I'm unique, yay! This isn't photoshopped. This girl has super long legs, like 40 inches long. She was really close to beating the world record for the longest legs too. Honestly, if you're gonna have one thing be too long, legs aren't a bad option. I'm not mad at it. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I love you all so much. Stay awesome, stay sweet, and don't forget to be nice to each other. Bye-bye!